How are you doing? There is a variety of activities that you can do here at Goose Island State Park. We have a 1,600 foot pier. Now, if fishing isn't your thing, you can always go hiking in one of our trails. You can go visit Big Tree. We do have camping. We also have interpretive programs that we offer uh, here at Goose Island State Park, which vary from year to year and from season to season. Got a couple of little birds up here. We've got marshes and estuaries. We've got marine life. We've got forests and coastal prairie. We've got live oaks in the red bays and our wooded areas. It's definitely a good mix. It is just, the birds are wonders that they could fly that far and get here and know where the shower was. <laughs> Maybe he was here last year and remembered. There are lots of birds. The best time to see them is gonna be in the spring. There's a great migration. It kind of funnels to the tip of South Texas. So you could see upwards of 300 different species of birds during that time. And in the winter, we are home to the whooping crane, which is an endangered species. They'll fly from Canada in, in winter down here. This is where we saw two or three rose-breasted grosbeaks a couple days ago. We have birding programs and tours. Here he is over here. There he goes. He just got something. Louise and water thrush. So you don't have to have any experience. Oh, yeah. Our park rangers will lead you on these programs. It's not an exercise. It's more of a gentle walk through the woods. Goose Island State Park is surrounded by three bays. We have Aransas Bay, St. Charles Bay, and Copano Bay. We have a, a kayak launch from Goose Island. We have a kayak program where you can come kayak with a ranger or with one of our wonderful volunteers. You can see different oyster reefs. You can see a National Wildlife Refuge, which borders our park just a variety of the geographical regions within the Coastal Bend area. This is St. Charles Bay, back this direction. You can fish pretty much anywhere that you're able to go out to the shoreline. It's a black drum. It's a monster. But I think we will have sausages for dinner. He's too big. <laughs> Ooh. A lot of people like to fish off the bulkhead. Got one. Crab. Our overnight campers that stay at the Bayfront area, they will just fish out of their campsite. A lot of our day users, they will utilize the fishing pier. This is a catfish you can eat. Oh, nice. Gaff top, this is like a sail. You can do a little bit of fishing with your family, make some memories. The fishing pier is just over 1,600 feet. It's a very large pier. You can catch redfish, speckled trout, flounder, black drum. Big old, big ugly. 41 inch drum. Oh my God. The peak seasons for those are going to be July through October. It's an ugly! It's a nice morning. It is iconic, huh? Big Tree is the crown jewel of the Lamar Peninsula in Goose Island State Park. The Big Tree has been around many years. It's very common to get your picture taken with it. Yeah. It's a great way to get the generations of families through here. Year after year, we have people coming out to New Island State Park, and they really make these great memories with their families.